Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Carry Essentials Better Half Dot Kit from Heim Planet. And like the Travel Pack 28 that we looked at recently, this is a part of the company's recently updated transit line. And it feels like it's been a little while since I've looked at a new toiletry bag on the channel. I've been using dot kits such as the Air Dot Kit and the Nomadic Dot Kit for a while and I've been pretty happy with those. But I had always heard great things about Heim Planet's original Dot Kit and when I saw that they had released this slimmer version as part of the new transit line, I was excited to check it out. And so I've been using it for the past couple of weeks and so far it's been a great experience. I really love the sleek form factor that this has. It has a fantastic build quality. I really like the amount of space that it offers and it also has a very interesting organizational layout that's gonna work great for your toiletries and also for some of your tech accessories. So I'm excited to share it with you guys and I wanna thank the company for sending the dot kit for me to test out. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the overall aesthetic, this definitely has a very minimal and modern look. It almost feels a little bit techy, which blends in well with a lot of the accessories and bags that I normally like to travel with. And I just really like the overall aesthetic. This definitely feels like a more kind of stylish way to keep all my toiletries and accessories accessible and easy to find when I'm placing this at a bathroom or room that I'm staying in. And then moving into the materials, this has a very solid build quality. This is made out of an 800D nylon and polyurethane blend, so it feels like it's gonna hold up well to rougher usage. And then it also has some well-protected YKK zippers all around to make it feel like anything that you place on the inside is gonna be well-protected from water. And then with the zippers, I also really like these zipper pulls. We saw these on the Travel Pack 28. They have these kind of aluminum grab places here that make them very tactile and nice to grab. And the length of these also works well to make it very easy to open any compartment quickly and smoothly. And then moving into the sizing, that's one of my favorite things about this dot kit. It's actually offered in two sizes by Heim Planet. They actually have one that's about twice as big. That's why this is called the better half because it's half of the larger dot kit. And to me, this kind of works very well for minimal travel. I don't like my toiletry bags to take up a lot of space. That's one of the main things that I look for in a dot kit. And so this one really fit the bill. It's pretty slim, even with the items that I have in here, which you know is what I normally travel with. It doesn't get too bulky, so I can just toss it in at the top of my bag or into one of the smaller compartments and it's gonna fit pretty comfortably. And so I wanna do a few quick size comparisons with some of the dop kits that I normally like to use. So this is the Air Dop Kit, which is a little bit on the larger side, but this is the one that I use when I'm traveling for a little bit longer, or I just want some extra space. And so you can see that they're pretty close in size as far as the length and also the thickness when you start to fill them up, they can get kind of close, but just a similar size here. And then this also compares well to the Nomadic Toiletry Bag that I featured on the channel a while back. This is another pretty slim one. One thing about the Nomadic is you can see that it's a little bit taller. So just another benefit of this Heim Planet one is that it's just a little bit smaller and it's gonna save that extra bit of space in my bag, especially when I'm trying to travel with something smaller and fighting for every inch of space that I can. And then jumping into the organizational options, this is one of my favorite things about the bag is how many different ways you can kind of organize all your stuff. So it's divided into two main areas. We'll take a look at the larger compartment first. So it has this aqua guarded zipper here that you can open very easily. And this is gonna be great for when you're standing the bag up. You know, you can easily reach down and grab whatever you need to. It has plenty of space. So this is gonna be the area that's a little bit better for anything bulkier that you wanna carry with you. So if you have some you know, liquids that you wanna throw in or maybe something like a glasses case, which I normally have to travel with. Currently, you can see there's some leftover space here as I normally really wanna minimize what I take with me as far as toiletries. But jumping in, what I currently have here is a travel size shaving cream. And then I also have a deodorant. And then on the back of this compartment, you have a few elastic mesh slip pockets, which are gonna just help add some extra organization to this area to make stuff easy to grab. And so all the way on the right, I just have a travel size contact solution. And then a really cool thing about this compartment is that it also has a hook that allows you to hang this up when you're in a bathroom. If you wanna hang this from a towel rack or something, the hook has a pretty nice size. I like that it has a good curve to prevent this from kind of slipping off accidentally. And then you can actually rotate the hook to give you just a little bit more flexibility with where you can hang it. It has a nice amount of length and then you can just put it away when you don't wanna use it. Here you also have an additional elastic pocket, but that's usually where I tuck the hook in to kind of prevent it from getting hooked onto anything else that's in this compartment. And then next to that, you have one additional elastic mesh compartment where I just have 
some of the pomade that I use to style my hair. So again, simple organization here, offering a lot of space, and I really like how flexible this is for those bulkier items that I need to carry with me. And then moving on to the other compartment, this has a zipper that opens fully flat so you can easily see kind of all of the different organizational options that are in this area. And so this is where the bag really stood out to me. There's just so many different little pockets and bands that you can use so that all of your stuff is exactly where you want it to be. So you have a lot of flexibility with how you can organize everything, almost too much. At some points it kind of felt like I didn't even know where I wanted to put different things to kind of make it all fit together. But if you're somebody who's a little more OCD with where everything goes, and this is Going to be a dream come true and then so at the top you have a few elastic bands that are going to be great for storing kind of a longer thinner things that you need to have with you so things like a toothbrush which is what i currently have here this is a travel toothbrush that you can fold and then you have you know some more slots below that and then you have a few small kind of slip pockets where you can put smaller things i have a pair of tweezers here this might also be a good spot to put a pair of nail clippers and then you also have a larger slip pocket which is where i put my contact case because that's where it fit most easily and then on the other side, you have a few more elastic bands. So here I just have a folding comb that I like to take with me and then a simple nail clipper and of course a razor. And then below that you have a few small additional mesh elastic compartments. So I didn't put anything in this one, particularly when you have a taller item here, it's nice to kind of be able to place it in here to prevent it from slipping out. And then I also threw in a travel size floss. So just lots of different organizational pouches. And then one of the nicest things with this kit is that it actually includes a mirror. I hadn't seen that in any of the dot kits that I've used in the past. So that's really nice to have with you, particularly you know if you're somewhere where you don't have an easily accessible mirror or on a flight, it's great to be able to pull this out so you can get ready maybe do your hair. And then one of the best things is you can actually pull this off if it's attached with Velcro. So if you don't want to use it, or if you're putting something here that could potentially scratch it, it's nice that you have the ability to actually remove this. So tons of flexibility here. I really love all the different pockets and bands that are provided. And this is what's actually going to make this great, not just for toiletries, but maybe for your tech gear. I mean, with all of the things that we have here, this compares well to some of the great tech pouches that we featured on the channel. So you could definitely put some of your chargers, your cables, your dongles in these areas to keep them very easily accessible and protected. And then in a larger compartment, you can place maybe something like a larger laptop brick and a big cable. So, so far it's been great to use for both purposes. And if you're looking for a versatile and durable pouch that's gonna be slim and not take up too much space in a bag and just offer tons of great organizational options, and this is gonna be a fantastic bag to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the Better Half Dop Kit over the past couple of weeks. The dot kit has a really impressive build quality, an awesome internal organizational layout, and I really like its sleek form factor. And so you can currently purchase this on High Planet's site, starting at about $50, which, considering the features and build quality, feels like a pretty reasonable price, and this also compares well to other similar dot kits in this price range. And so as I was testing this out, one of the first dot kits that this made me think of was the Nomadic Toiletry Bag 2.0, which we featured during the video. You know, that one had a pretty similar form factor. It was a little bit bigger, but the biggest difference with that one is that it had a much simpler internal layout. You know, it just has a few big compartments. So if you're somebody who just wants enough space to carry what you need, but you don't wanna have to worry about organizing all your stuff, then that's gonna be a great option to take a look at. And then the other toiletry bags that this reminded me of that we also discussed during the video are the Air Dot Kit and the Air Travel Kit, which are both some really solid options from Air. They have a fantastic build quality. They have a really sleek form factor. The Air Dot Kit is gonna be a little bit bigger than the Travel Kit, so it's gonna give you some extra space, and it also doesn't have the ability to hang, so that's gonna be a little bit better if you just like to kinda of lay your Dot Kit down and not have to worry about having an extra hook. And then the Travel Kit is gonna be just a little more slim, and it does have some nice internal organization, but it's not gonna be able to hold quite as much as the Air Dot Kit or even something like this. But if you like Air's aesthetic and you're just looking for something simple and reliable, then those are gonna be some great options to check out in a very similar price range. And if you're a fan of organizing all of your stuff into pouches, whether it be your toiletries or more of your tech items, I definitely recommend you check out the Roundup video that I did recently that talked about some of my favorite slimmer organizational pouches that are gonna be great for minimal travel. And if there are any options like this that you think I should feature on the channel in the future, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company again for sending the DOP kit for me to test out. And if you guys found this video helpful, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.